<coughs> Sorry, happy on Wednesday, everybody. Up in the fan. This will be, be a shortish one compared to some of them. Excuse me. Just having a whole melon smash, but I've called it my hometown smash because it's a whole melon. So, I mean, it's going on quite good actually, quite chuffed with it. Um, so, this it, this will probably kick maybe sometime over the weekend, maybe this Easter weekend. I know you've got a walk, like I say, a walk keeper on because you've got your Easter egg sweet. So, this will probably kick a weekend and probably maybe the draft stout is a kick. But I've got two bros to to bot to keg. The rhubarb beer, that's probably done now, and that'll, that'll, that'll get kicked today or tomorrow. And I've got the Irish red ale, that's on the border. I've still got the odd bubble to do with that. And then I'll whack it off the sediment and give it a few more days and see how it's read and then keg that. So the only problem I've got is I've only got one fridge to put the ke kegs in, and I've got one ferment fermenting fridge. I can stick a keg in there to ferment up and to chill down. But I need another fridge. But also trying to get it past the missus. Yeah, that's bloody hard work. So, like I said, <coughs> I've got one keg. One keg, bloody hell. Bloody beer's gone to me straight away. I've got one fridge with two kegs in. So I'm hoping to get another fridge. So in the past, I bought another STC 1000 ready for when I got a fridge. So I know it's the way around. But I've done some shopping this week. I should have done this first. A four-way gas distribution. I've got a two-way one now, so it, which is good for two kegs. But if I've got I've got five kegs, so I see it's a bit of a pain swapping and changing. So if and when I get a fridge, I bought this to distribute the gas between the two fridges. So if I want to get a big enough fridge to stick four kegs in, so I put. Two in one fridge, two in the other fridge, and I can get them all done. So I bought that this week. Also, more shopping. I can see it backwards away again. Beer line and gas lines. So I'm going to adjust my beer lines to see if I can get a faster pour. I don't mind waiting, but it's like it, I can piss quicker than it's pouring out. So I've got that. And I've also got, that's it, some disconnects. Got the gas one. Liquid ones, some strongest fittings, and I've also bought a faucet wrench because it's a pain in the ass trying to get the untaffled off the fridge. So I've bought all them, so I've bought everything else. I've got the taps to buy, but I ain't got a fridge to put them in, so I'm trying to sweet talk the wine. I think I'll end up just biting the bullet and just sticking it upstairs. So I did that, that shopping this week. So quite chuffed for that. Let's see, I ordered it on the Sunday and it came the, the Tuesday. So quite chuffed for that. Other things, like I said, I've got a couple of brews to do this weekend. Hopefully, if the weather stays fine enough, so when we're doing the brew, I have to do it in the, the conservatory or the porch. It's easier in the conservatory. I've got a bit more space, but I have to stop it. For, I have to walk. Stop raining. Because I'm sticking the kettle outside and. Kettle, sticking the, the brew pot outside and if it's raining I said any I don't want it raining in the bloody the boiler so I'm also if I can't stick it in house because of the condensation so plus I try and do it when the missus that way because she hates the smell she said they hates the smell of everything so I can't win with her can't, I can't win with the fridge and I can't win with, with the brewing beer so and the quicker thing figure this so, I know I've had an influx of subscribers over the last few weeks and I ain't done a shout out for, for quite a while. So I've wrote a quick list of the, of, the, of the new ones I've had over the last month or so. So I'll try and do some more next month if I, if I remember. But I'll say there's too many to list underneath. But a quick brew, quick brew, a quick read. I can't remember, I can't even read my own blurry. Will Jones, Brew Studio 68, Doghouse Homebrew, Chatham Brewery, um, Andrew at Baggies Home Brewery, Irish Groundhog Brewer, Best Beer Videos, Ben Dayton, Wayne Hartley, 
Scott Anderson, Brian Fisher, Saddle Bro, Sticky Tentacles, The Geeky Dag, I'm sure he's from York, Big Banana Brewing, Home Brew Griffo, The Mini Brewer, Josh Shakur, Rock On Beer Blog, EVS Bristol, and Victor Brews. So all these, it's the new subscribers I've had over the last month. So I much appreciate all the subs, guys. Thanks very much. I think I sub sub to all of you. So Victor Brews, I just saw his video yesterday. He's had a haircut and a beard cup. And the first time I've seen him without with that. So thanks very much, guys. Um, so like I said, I've been watching everybody's videos as much as I can. I had a problem with YouTube. I'm not showing me my latest vid well, some of the latest videos from like a week ago. So I've had to... Just go around trolling on the internet. Um, I watched someone's the other day, and he, he always text, seems to take the piss out of everybody, and no one takes the piss out of him. But I watched one of his videos, his, oh, his, his latest video, and he said a certain word about 42 times, 45 times, and the word was, I might have said it a few times today, dropping it in. Um, um, I'll drop it at the end of the video, so you'll be able to know who it is. So he takes the piss out of everybody, so he's got broad enough shoulders for him for everybody else to take the piss out of him. So, um, anyway, I'll leave it at that, so I've waffled on, and I'll catch you all later, guys. Cheers, thanks very much. Hi. Um, um, it's Simon being in India and having a drink of it, um, but I'm mostly very strong in alcohol. Um, it's hot, but it's not strong in alcohol. Um, 